and how we doing ladies and gentlemen for TGN technology and the smoking Android yet again my name is Jared and today for all of you Atrix owners out there don't worry I haven't forgotten about you uh, we have got Sanogen mod 10 for your Motorola Atrix 4G now this is more of a proof of concept at the moment um, basically I believe this build is the latest build on the 24th is when I believe this latest build was released and um, I kind of wanted to show you guys because I haven't really done a video on the Atrix for a little while now. Um, mostly because there hasn't exactly been any huge improvements in development. Um, you know, we've got, I think the big two ROMs or three ROMs right now for the Atrix is um, CM9, MIUI version 4, and Neutrino ROM 2.8. However, we're still kind of waiting for 2.9 and 3.0, which I hope is actually going to not be 3.0 and will instead be... A jelly bean or at least ice cream sandwich based rum from uh, Notorious uh, but anyways um, like I was mentioning so this is actually a, a, a big sort of new development step for the Atrix and obviously Sanage Mod 10 we got some ice cream or some jelly bean running on here and we haven't even finished Sanage Mod 9 yet um, so anyways here we go you know there's a uh, a lot of stuff that is working, a lot of stuff that isn't working, all the stuff that um, isn't working in Sandage Mod 10 for all devices obviously isn't going to be working for your Atrix. Um, however, there are quite a few things working. So, um, just jumping into it here, just to kind of give you guys a quick uh, overview of everything. Um, applications we've got here, of course, we've got the new Apollo app. Um, you know, jump into phone, and of course, it's the stock um, Sandage Mod phone or AOSP phone, I'm sorry. And, and dialer, I'm just totally screwing everything up right now. Um, camera uh, won't work for me right now just because I don't have a SD card in there, but um, apparently it does work. As you can see there, it is working. Um, from what I understand, if you jump and try to jump into video, um, it might may crash on you. So uh, um, you know, give it a shot. No, no problems there. Whether it's a daily driver, I can't really comment on that as of yet. Um, right now, actually, I'm running Sandage Mod 10 on my Samsung Galaxy S3 as a daily driver, kind of an experiment, just because updates have been coming out so frequently for it. Um, it actually, and, and you know, and I've been reading the comments, it actually seems like it's going to be quite a bit of a daily driver, so or good enough to be a daily driver with that said. So, um, so cool stuff there. Um, overall opinions right now, it does feel very, very smooth. And um, for those of you that aren't aware, if you did want to try this out and you jump into Google Now, of course, I know some of you are watching, um, this actually isn't enabled. This is just a voice search. So in, in, to en enable it, you actually have to hit the menu button, jump into settings there, and then click on Google Now. Um, most of the time, like on most ROM, actually, San Jose Montana ROMs, um, the Google Now, you'll see it say off. So you're going to want to click on it and then, you know, turn it on. As you can see here, it's, you've got a little uh, on-off toggle there. So if I had it off, then uh, you wouldn't get any of those uh, those cards that pop up that you've seen in all those videos out there. Um, voice, obviously, you're going to want to put it to the voice that you want. Now, um, one thing to note, though, some of you may be wondering why the Google Now doesn't actually talk back to you. In order to fix that, you actually have to set your system language, all right? So go into, you know, menu, settings, language, and input, and set it to U.S. English. The only way it'll work right now is with U.S. English. That's, it'll talk back to you, okay? I mean, you can set it to whatever language you want, and you just won't get the woman's voice speaking back to you. So that's just a bit of a tip. Sorry about that squeaky noise. The dogs are in here. Let me just go get rid of them. <laughs> All right, sorry about that, got rid of the dogs. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, so that's just a bit of a tip, a little trick for you guys there. Uh, let's see if gallery's working. Gallery, no, nah, because I don't have a, a, an SD card in there. Um, but, uh, which I find is strange because it still should be kind of looking for the internal card. Um, regardless, uh, jumping into messaging here still looks, you know, stock ice cream sandwich almost, right? Not a whole lot has changed uh, UI-wise. Um, unfortunately, we're not seeing the Chrome browser being the default browser of Jelly Bean, considering this is sort of an AOSP-based ROM. I kind of would have expected to see Chrome in here, but, I mean, again, Sanjay Mod 10 is still a work in progress. Um, of course, down here, we've got our notification pull-down, our Jelly Bean flavored, so you've got your clock, date, and time up there. Um, these three little buttons in the top right-hand corner there, you just tap that, and it will remove all of the notifications. Um, I haven't been able to, apparently, um, notifications in here has that cool little jelly bean expansion where if you kind of pull it down, you can get a bit more of a description on whatever the notification is. I haven't found that yet in this ROM, nor have I found it on my Samsung Galaxy S3. It seems that they actually come pre-expanded. 
Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. But this has got this cool little thing, um, when, you know, when you let go of the uh, pull down bar there, the light disappears, turns gray, and when you when you uh, go to press it again, it turns blue. Um, so nice there. Um, going into the uh, lock screen here, of course, we've got our Jelly Bean lock screen. You can go straight into the camera or unlock it. Uh, there's also um, an option to customize two extra uh, actions here, um, applications that you can launch, obviously. And of course, if we are to go up, swipe up to the top, and it launches Google Now for us, just like so. So cool stuff there. Jumping into settings here, we'll kind of just go on a quick, quick little tour here. So very, very ice cream sandwich-esque, you know, I mean, uh, other than like a bunch of the performance upgrades, um, you know, uh, visually speaking, you know, there isn't a huge lot of, uh, a huge amount of changes. Uh, but anyway, so going into themes, uh, there's themes, um, apparently they've been merging the theme choosers, so from what I understand, some of the rumors are that some of the CyanogenMod 9 themes actually work with CyanogenMod 10, so uh, something you can try out, obviously, make a NAND backup before you flash, just in case you muck anything up along the way, plus this may not be a daily driver yet, so, you know, maybe you just kind of want to test it out just to see it running on your phone, it's always fun to do stuff like that. Uh, jumping in a system there, so far we've got status bar, notification drawer, wallpaper, font size. Um, one thing I did want to mention is that things that a lot of us Atrix owners uh, look for in a new custom ROM is, you know, is the fingerprint scanner working, you know, is, is uh, can I do fingerprint to unlock, can I do uh, fingerprint navigation, um, no, unfortunately the fingerprint scanner isn't working right now, and I mean, like most Sanj Mod ROMs that come for the Atrix, um, the whole fingerprint navigation pad there um, is sort of a work in progress. It takes them a little bit of time to start merging all the drivers and things like that. So I'm sure given enough time um, with the developers spending on this, that uh, that's something we could probably expect to see in the future. Uh, sounds, obviously we're going to have all the new um, jelly bean sounds, things like that. There's some extra things in here like volume panel. You can expand it when you hit the... Um, uh, when you hit the volume thing or you can click expanded so you know when you click expanded you've got all three of the, those uh, those options there for you to choose from um, quiet hours safe headset yada 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 all the basic stuff that you've got here and um, I will just jump into display here real quickly actually you know what let's take a look at um, the wallpapers see if there's any cool wallpapers for it yep so of course we've got a lot of these cool wallpapers that we actually found in San Angel Mod 9 um, some of these are actually some of my favorite wallpapers of all time, uh, believe it or not. I just, for some reason, love Cyanage Mod wallpapers. I think they're just so cool. This is actually one of my favorite ones here, um, just because it looks kind of neat. Um, anyways, what else is there? So, obviously, you can expand the amount of um, customizable power widgets in your uh, notification drawer there. Um, but that's basically it, guys. Let's go ahead and just take a quick peek to see um, what kind of stock kernel comes with this bad boy. Uh, so we are running, yeah, so just, you know, basic number 47, it's just a basic kernel uh, from Sanjin Mod 9. So uh, something to keep in mind, this, actually a lot of this stuff is from Sanjin Mod 9 from Turl, believe it or not. Um, so that's just, you know, something to note. And uh, going into performance, we've got, let's see if we've got any, uh, see if we've got any cool options in here. So obviously we can clock all the way up to one gigahertz and underclock if you want. Nothing nothing crazy, crazy there. Uh, going to developer options and we've got a few different developer options that come with Jelly Bean. Some stuff in here you may want to take a look at. Um, GPU, full GPU, 2D rendering, stuff like that um, apparently is not working at the moment just like it isn't working I believe in Sanity Mod 9. We're still waiting on the developers to work on that. Um, quite honestly between you guys and me I don't think that uh, NVIDIA is ever going to release those drivers for the Tegra 2. Um, so I think that development, myself personally, I think the development for the Atrix is starting to come to a halt. There's only so much you can do unless you have all the drivers, right? So, um, but anyways, guys, that is Sanjimon 10 for your Motorola Atrix 4G. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'll have a link in the description down below for you to download this ROM, go to the thread and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, and there's obviously instructions and things like that on how to flash it. I'm pretty sure that... Everybody knows how to flash ROMs now. For any, so anyways, guys, for TGN Technology and the Smoking Android, my name is Jared. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And if you liked it, uh, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up. Uh, but until next time, guys, we shall see you in the next video. Later.